Okay, this is question three on page 262. This is the higher course, 17.5. This is question three. It's been fully sort of prepped in order to shorten the, the length of the video. What I've done is, um, to go to question three, it says I've got to copy and complete this table um, for values of y equals 2x squared minus 7x plus 5. So essentially, um, plugging the values from 0 to 3 into where you see the x in the equation, calculate the y's. We've done this loads of times before. And um, so if I take as an example, if I plug 3 into this formula here, let's just do it in like big size. I go 2 times 3 squared, then take away 7 lots of 3, and then add 5. Now if I do that with my calculator, um, well, 3 squared is 9, 2, 2, 9 is 18, take away 21, 3, 7 is 21, 18 take away 21 is minus 2, minus 2, sorry, um, where we're we up to, yeah, 18 take away 21 is minus 3, minus 3 plus 5 is plus 2. So that's me working a bit quickly in my brain. Remember, unit 3, use your calculator. So what I've done is plugged in the value of x equals 3, and I've got the value of y equals 2 out, hence the coordinate 3, 2. And I've done this with, done this with all of them, and I did use a calculator just to speed things up. And um, part B says, draw the graph of y equals 2x squared minus 7x plus 5, and I've done that. And here is the graph. I've plotted the points. It's a lovely U-shaped graph, as I like to call it. It's got a classic uh, X squared shape, quadratic graph shape. And then it says find the coordinates, part C, of the minimum point. In other words, uh, what is the coordinate where the graph dips at its lowest possible point? Where does it trough out? Well, right there, I'm guessing. So what I'm going to do is run my eye along there and try and work out exactly what that point is. Well, I can see from my rough graph, it's going to be 1.75 for the x part. And coming down here, it looks like minus 1 point, oh, it's quite hard, minus just minus 1.1 1 .1 or 1 1.2. Let's go for minus 1.2. Again, that's the level of accuracy I can give just by judging it off um, this scale here. So that's what I make that. That's called the minimum point. Right at the minimum point, the x value is 1.75. At the same minimum point, the y value is minus 1.20 or something like that. So that's that. So here we've come across the thing, brand new thing, the value of a minimum point. Now, just as an aside, if you have a graph like this, for example, these are one of the upside down u's. Um, so this might be the graph of y equals minus x squared etc. I don't know what the rest of it is, but if it's a negative x squared, you remember from key stage 3 and even from unit 2, the graphs go this way around. And uh, in this case, that would not be the minimum point, but the maximum point. All right? So graphs that are of the x squared type, these u's, have a minimum point. Graphs of the minus x squared type, still quadratic, uh, have a peak and therefore have a maximum point. So that's as an aside. <clears throat> then it says D. What are the values of x when y equals 4? Well, when y equals 4, I've got to draw in the line y equals 4 first. We can see where it crosses. So if I put it across here like that, that's my line y equals 4. So I label it as such. All right. So if I read down here and here, these are the two points of intersection with the line y equals 2x squared minus 7x plus 5. So therefore, I have two solutions. If I read down again using this, so in an exam you can do this, can't you? Show the examiner what your brain is doing, so you did that. Then again on this side, show, show what your brain's doing. Again, this is pretty crude on here. Um, obviously, all your graphs be ever so slightly different. It depends on how accurately you draw in the u, and there's plenty of tolerance allowed in this it doesn't be absolutely perfect. It just has to be perfect enough. So now I must quote my two values. Um, do them in black so they stand out. So this one here, what's that value there? I make that approximately 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Uh, yeah, I make that 0.2. X equals 0 0.2. And this one here, just trying to read that carefully. Uh, right there, trying anyway. X equals, well, from my graph, it's bang on 3.5. I think the, the answer book says 3.35, 3 
but that's how I did my U. I can, I can see I dropped this a little bit low relative to that point there, and for that reason this is sticking out too far to the right. So if this was more to the left, it might be, um, say here for example, where 3.4 would be, and that would be fine. But you know, relative to what I've just done, um, 3.5 is what I've made it, and 0.2 is what I made the other one. Please note there are two positive values where where the the, um, the graph of 2x squared minus 5x minus 7x plus 5 intersects with line y equals 4. And that is question 3 done. All right, um, Very good. So I'm going to pause there. Look at question 4. It claims to be grade A. Um, I can see where it is grade A actually. And uh, I'll come on to that real soon. All right.